Hi guys, it's Crypto Rocco here. In today's video, I've got one of the biggest crypto news events from this year to share with you. Luna Foundation Guard raises $1 billion to form Bitcoin reserves for USD stablecoin. This is not just one of the biggest news for Luna and the Terra ecosystem. This is massive for the whole cryptocurrency. We already know the importance of the stablecoin plays in the Bitcoin and crypto markets. And this is a game changer for algorithmic stablecoin USD. So in this video, guys, I'll share with you the latest news. I'll share with you what this means. I've made a few points that I want to cover in this video. And more importantly, guys, I'll, talk, I'll explain to you the implications of this news on the price of Luna. Luna price has already gone parabolic. It's pumped 30% in this market. We know all the bad things that are going on in this world. And even in this market, the lunatics are absolutely crazy. They're still pumping. There's a few tweets I want to talk about or one of the tweets I shared with you, my thoughts on why Luna could perform well in a bear market. Market. so you, you know in a bear market people might sell their crypto to go into ust and if ust demand goes up you have to burn and, and burn luna so luna could outperform other cryptos in a bear market so i'll cover that and everything that you need to know about luna going forward and finally share with you my price prediction and trade setup it won't be a rockstar trading video if i don't share with you exactly how we're trading luna so guys, without further ado, let's get into the video. So Luna Foundation Guard raises $1 billion to form Bitcoin reserves for USD stablecoin. That's the news. It came out a couple of days ago. Again, it takes a bit of time to uh, record the video and, and learn about it. So I've not managed to make a video in a couple of days. If you do enjoy this type of content, check out Twitter, guys. I, try, I can update you guys a lot more there. I tweeted within a few minutes of uh, when this news came out. And this news actually came out um, a few days after I tweeted my uh, analysis on on the United didn't know this news was going to come out so I've, I've written another thread on twitter so if you are interested you can make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel for more detailed videos coins i'm looking to trade and for later for quicker updates you know you can check out our rockstar trading group uh, i live stream there three to four times a week i'm trading there posting coins what which i'm trading we're doing peg -axi content if you are interested in taking your trading to the next level uh, get access to strategies great trading group i'll leave the links below we got in luna around five dollars um there's lots of cool DeFi strategies as well. I will make a YouTube video by end of next week. My Luna DeFi strategies, you can make 30, 40% risk free. So that video will be coming out. We've been doing that since, you know, May last year, which is, and Luna was less than $5, absolutely went parabolic. So that video is going to come out. Make sure you hit that like button if you want that Luna staking video and make sure you subscribe to the channel. So let's get started on the video then. So this is, this is the big news. So what does this mean? The capital will be used to create new reserve that can act as a a re release valve for usd redemptions during sell-off in crypto markets one of the concerns people have with using luna is what if you know people start selling and there's an amazing this is not my diagram there's a guy called macedo on twitter I, I copied it from him he's an amazing guy go follow him a massive shout out to him so this is the death spiral that people, you know, fud Luna about. They call it Ponzinomics. And yes, Luna can be Ponzinomics. I have a lot of money in Anchor Protocol. There's a YouTube video I'll share with you exactly how you can earn 20% risk-free uh, on, on your stable coins. And, you know, people have that concern that, you know, it's not sustainable and it might not be sustainable. There's a video on my channel. I'll go into that but this is gives you a lot more confidence so the issue that people talk about is you know when the market causes down the lunar pr price falls down people uh, you know might be scared that the ust peg might break and they sell their ust and this brings more further pressure because if you're burning ust you're minting more luna and the luna loses more value if you want again please go watch my luna videos i'm i'm, I'm, I'm not going to repeat myself but the way sim simple terms the way it works is to mint ust you have to burn luna and when you uh, sell your ust you have to basically um mint luna so that's how it works so if the if people are selling their ust there's more supply of luna and luna's value is going down more people are selling luna and this is a death spiral so this bitcoin comes in if you guys remember in the march or may crash last year the year before luna had it uh, sorry the last year 2021 we had a huge dump in luna again that was the best time to buy and we i became a lunatic around five dollars i think the usd price went up and the peg was 
pegboard's breaking so this is gonna you know take luna to the next level and you know this makes ust a lot more sound money so i'm really excited for this news and you know in crypto twitter and social media more people talk about you know the hypes and you know dogecoin to a dollar and i joke about it as well on my twitter there's a mixture of jokes you know pump me to 20k followers there's a mixture of jokes and but there's a lot of content that i share which is valuable and this is one of those videos that is really important or this thread i go into a lot of detail on how why i'm so bullish on luna why i'm so bullish on anchor protocol so you know don't just follow the hype and and this news i'm surprised is not covered uh, a lot more by so uh, other youtubers i'm not sure if they're you know they're trying to accumulate more luna before they start pumping it but i'm, I'm a bit surprised that uh, not many people are talking about this this big news so a Luna Foundation Guard raised a billion. So if you want to check out more about Luna Foundation Guard, this is their mission. It's a non-profit organization from Singapore They're dedicated to growing the Terra ecosystem, Luna, Terra, USD, DeFi ecosystems. And they're backed by Jump Crypto, Three Arrows Capital. They're the two biggest ones. There's lots more other people as well. And another really important thing to share with you guys, I've tweeted this uh, today. I found this is... Um, this guy, Pedro, did an amazing work, looked at where, who's bought them, and he roughly thinks that the average price of Luna bought is $50, $51. So I would think that $50 should hold. And I'll, I'll come to the price, the fun bit later on. And that was a trade I posted. Check out my Twitter. It was a live trade. Uh, it's hit our target but you know it shouldn't go back below fifty dollars because that's the average these big whales have paid and they're locked their money for four years i mean crypto moves so quick it moves luna i didn't even know about luna a few years ago and luna is i spend so much time thinking about luna i have my money in anchor pro and please i'm, I'm shilling luna please do your own research before you put your money in but you know uh, the point i'm trying to make is four years is a long time away and for these big whales to invest so much money into this one billion you know shows the conviction their conviction on luna and I, i'd rather be listening to you know following these huge hedge funds and these people with money than follow someone on you know twitter telling me xrp to the moon or a cardano to hundred dollars or xrp to a thousand bucks or 589 so i want to be following these smart people these people are smarter than me i want to be following what they are doing so a proceeds from the 1 billion sale will go towards establishing a Bitcoin dominated Forex reserve for USC, Terra stablecoin. I, I am still not clear how it's exactly going to work. So please do let me know. Again, th this is what I had in my mind. The way it will work is the BTC when USD is sold, people can claim BTC. So there'll be less selling pressure on Luna. That is my understanding. Please do clarify. There's more people that you know know more about the coding and how Terra works. But from my you know, reading white paper, interacting with really smart people on Reddit and Twitter, that's my understanding. And that's how the USD reserve is going to work. But, but do let me know um, if, if that's the understanding. So LFC said the, uh, the reserve created through 1 billion capital injection will effectively act as a release valve for USD redemptions. It is designed to ensure the price of the stable coin remains pegged to that of a dollar during sharp sell-offs in crypto market so the way it works is again when the demand for terror is high supply is limited terror price increases demand for terror is low supply is too large price decreases and when minting comes in this is when in a bull market luna pumps way more but in a bear market with the supply reduction and ust demand going up there could still be a case for Luna to perform well. Reserve assets can be utilized in instances where protracted market sell-off de deter buyers from restoring the USD pegs parity and deteriorate the Terra Protocol's open market arbitrage incentive. The reserve will initially be denominated in Bitcoin, which LFG believes is less correlated to the Terra ecosystem. In the future, they're looking to add lots, lots more protocols. Um, two I'm really excited is AVAX and Solana. They're also going to help and um, if you watch my previous video on anchor protocol reserve they're also going to help with that terraforming uh DeFi. um so singapore-based terraform labs founded by duquan again I'll, I'll share some tweets from him you can see some of the backing that they've got huge huge backing coinbase venture binance lab um and it just goes into the project a little bit more and um the reason why i got sold on this project was when i found out about how terra uh, luna was burned to mint usc and the usc demand was going up that's when i got extremely bullish on this project uh, mid last year uh, and i still am and you can see terra usd 15 market cap and it's, it's growing quite well so that's the biggest news i wanted to share with you a few more things to talk about is um the safe on bank run so if btc comes in here it will help luna uh, let's keep the luna supply less and reduce the supply and selling pressure on luna so it will help the peg and that is the people's concern if the peg is held 
more people are going to believe in Luna, more people are going to put their money into Anchor and grow the value on Terra, uh, Terra and Luna ecosystem. So that is a game changer for me. Uh, this is, the, again, if you want to make money and you look thinking of investing in Luna, these people backing Luna, having a four-year vesting period, so they're not going to be able to sell Luna for four years. And, you know, if we get another bull run in between that four years, I mean, hopefully Luna to $1,000 is not a mean. Increased use of USD. So, again, I, I'm not saying that I'm very clever and uh, you need to follow me, but I do want to talk about my thread a little bit. Again, go go on Twitter and check it out yourself. But my point I wanted to share with you is that in a bear market, Okay, people sell their high risk coins for stable coins so previously people would sell their bitcoin you know xrp whatever coins they had they'll hold the usdt not a lot of people sell it into you know actually get the money out into dollars and pounds they usually hold it and reinvest it and the price because there's obviously tax implicate but i don't want to get into tax implications uh, but yeah there's uh let's see yeah, let's just <laughs> carry on going forward so with usd rather than holding stable coin peg to the us dollar and risk losing five seven percent through inflation you can earn 20 percent yield on anchor protocol so people can easily earn that 20 percent uh, and people with more time can offer more risk and like i've said make sure you subscribe to the channel guys if you're enjoying this type of content i am recording that video that will be out by end of next week how i've been using a mirror and anchor protocol to generate you know the the yields have dropped the long and farm percentages have dropped a bit but you can still earn 30 40 percent risk free so that video is coming out uh, make sure uh, you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification button and let me know in the comment section below if you're interested in this DeFi uh, crazy DeFi. Um, i am more of a trader but last year i got involved with the luna community and i've not looked back and um, i've made way more money staking and playing DeFi. if i only just if i just held and uh, held my loan i would have made money but i probably three four five x my gains by getting involved with the community and doing this crazy DeFi stuff i'm still learning um, so that's you know people might want to do that rather than you know see their coins go down and I mean I've you know made lots more money by staking uh, Terra so you'd expect if people are actually selling and there's amazing protocols you know White Whale Stada I'm looking into these as well Stada and uh, White Whale are the two ones I'm really interested in and I'm um, putting to putting some money in them uh, but yeah the demand should go up because people will think why am I you know just holding my USDT when I can move my money to UST and get this twenty percent or more rewards from DeFi so if you understand how the pay works and how the luna is burnt which i've briefly explained in this video i've got detailed um explanations on my video watch my previous luna videos but you know you if usd demand goes up you have to burn luna and the luna supply should go down and if the supply goes down and the demand um demand will also go down in a bear market which which is obviously true and i'm not saying bitcoin and crypto will dump and luna will moon that's not going to happen but if the supply is reduced by luna you'd expect luna to perform very well still so when bitcoin dumps the whole market dumps again I'm, I, I know people say that i'm not a lunatic i don't really care if i'm a lunatic or not i want to make money i want to help grow the ecosystem that's what i care about but you know i'll take profit like i've said and i've you know i'm still doing all this stuff making videos and some amazing messages that people got into luna at five dollars with me and made life-changing money and moved to thailand and living the you know retired into australia and all that stuff which is amazing to hear but you know you need to be realistic as well and have your own plans don't just get married to a bias but if Bitcoin dumps, Luna will dump. That's how market works. Liquidity dries up, new money stops coming in. We're already seeing what Terra, uh, Doquan and the team are doing to help and protect Luna even during tough times. And these are things that why I like this project so much, the team. So although the Luna price will drop, because of the reason explained above, I'm very confident that Luna will perform a lot better than 99% of crypto. Potentially at times it will pump with big news and adoption. We saw, you know, Chainlink pump. We've seen Luna pump in a bear market. We've seen lots of coins that still go up in a bear market and Luna could be one of them yes it's not going to pump as much as it would pump in a bull market but this is still really bullish uh, for Luna in my opinion so that's another point that's a really important I wanted to make um, Luna burn again I got into it anchor reserves so anchor reserves have been topped up this was covered in my previous video I recommend you go watch this again these are slightly longer videos but if you want to make it in crypto uh, you do have to put some time in it's going to take your time read about the protocol watch my videos uh, watch my Staking videos, I go into a lot of detail step by step how I've been staking Luna, uh, especially the UST. You can earn 20% right now if you've got your money lying around. Try it and um, and again, do your own research, but you can put insurance on it as well. I think I got into uh, explain that as well. You can have insurance to protect your wealth in case something smart contract or something goes wrong. And multi-chain again, I'm really excited about this. Um, you know, I was mainly an Ethereum maximalist or 
whatever you want to call me but you know once i've started looking at luna solana ftm you can really grow your wealth doing that so you need to uh, look at different protocols but luna's uh, opening up to those it's going to bring more tvl and the uh, luna's second behind ethereum for tvl total value locked which is absolutely ridiculous and all this stuff that they're doing is only going to help luna grow and i think luna should be i mean i said luna top five uh, it could even be higher than that but luna should be you know a top five coin with what they're doing um so duquan tweeted about this one billion uh, btc reserve for usd largest ever cap formation in crypto btc used as reserve currency to scale ust lfg has plans to scale reserve to a large number so really big news uh, i'm going to read this bit as well this is really interesting so this is the long redacted we were joking on twitter lunatics like myself what is redacted what is redacted and this is it so one billion private sale has been uh, jumped by all these people so three arrows and jump crypto the two biggest ones this is the jump crypto post and i'm going to quickly go through that as well let me go through that now uh, before i start looking into other stuff the amr will Will be capitalized in bitcoin with plans to expand to other non-correlated assets in the future this will allow users to redeem ust against the amr assets to help maintain that peg so this death spiral this is where others will come in and help uh, luna not be you know the supply and help a peg during a luna price dump usd forex reserve will strengthen the confidence in the pair giving users confidence by following central banks that hold a variety of foreign currencies to protect against severe market risk the usd forex reserve relieves pressure that comes from redemptions of usd for luna when demand shrinks during severe economic conditions the amr uses its reserve to absorb de the demand and arbitrage that exists when usd is trading below its peg uh, the 1 billion token sale will allow lfg to capitalize its usd forex reserve with buyers locking up luna purchase over a four-year vesting period so this is probably the the biggest uh, key for me four-year vesting period it's not going to be dumped on you like we see other cryptos being dumped on you and i touched on luna burn again this is the metrics you can follow it yourself the amount of luna supply and every day you can see the luna uh, being burnt and um, and i hope it carries on if you watch my peg axi video one of the things i like to see is viz being burnt and i'll make a peg axi video uh you know i only made peg axi videos for a few days i'll make a few more peg axi videos there's some big updates from them as well and then um, yeah if they can keep burning uh luna and the demand for usc goes up i think i mean i know you guys care more about the price the price should do well so coming back to the technical analysis i'll finish off with this thread but let me do my technical analysis and price prediction from technical analysis it's taken a time we were looking at this setup we long luna there we longed here it didn't really work out it came back up had a nice little rally and all these trades guys i do you know in the youtube videos i share where i'm looking to buy and sell like this videos in the rockstar trading group i can post exactly my entries my targets where i'm looking to trade other people are posting so if you are interested in taking your trading to the next level join us lunatics learn about DeFi strategies peg axi uh, gate play to earn check us out i'll leave the links below there's a special offer you can trial us for less than 30 bucks for a month see if this group is for you or not so um let's come back to the technical analysis then so when we broke out this was our entry it's coming to our first target i post this meme magnets and it's hit our magnet and this was posted beforehand so what now great rocker luna pumped we made money what happens next so for me the key thing is luna should not get back below 50 dollars as long as it's holding about $50 high time frame, I am bullish. My next trade I'm looking at, I actually, I love Luna, but I, I wouldn't want to buy Luna now. I would like to see a breakout. If Luna breaks out above $70, I'm going to look to buy it, targeting 85 and 90 So that is the next trade, same as what I looked for here. This is huge resistance, 50% fib of this leg. I think that if Luna can break $70, it should head towards $80, $90. And that would be a big move up. I'm looking to play that. Um, you know, Luna cut through the $50 resistance like it wasn't there and you can check all the posts beforehand and um 70 dollars is key it's hitting our first target it's hit our first target now 70 dollars the question now is could we break through it if we break above it i think we're going to rally near previous all-time highs 80 90 dollars and my actual target is 84 to 88 if i want to be specific that's where i think luna goes and then we'll have to see uh, i personally think luna will potentially chop around here and then hopefully we'll get that big breakout later in the year and R Luna rallies up above $100. And again, it's going to take time to play out. There's lots of news. It depends on what's happening. And one big shout out. I know I make crypto content and it's all about making money, but what's happening in um, in Ukraine is uh, it's so bad. It's, it's, I'm really sad and I'm 
western part of Europe, so I'm nowhere near it. Um, but it's it's horrible what's happening, and um, please don't make bad jokes about it. It's human beings. You know, your love people are losing their loved ones. I saw a video about a father, you know, saying goodbye to his kids, and it was just made me to it brought me to tears. So hopefully this situation gets better. Not for crypto. I mean, if things get better, it's gonna be amazing for crypto. But you know, not just for the human beings. You know, we, we don't want to go back to 50 years ago when there was you know war and death. We want to live in a peaceful way travel make money enjoy share laughter so that's a, another just a quick uh, side note and um yeah my love goes to all, all my love and prayer goes to all the ukrainian uh, people that are suffering through this and hopefully this this comes to an end uh, whatever uh, whoever's wrong whatever the solution is just hope that no no one you know no death happens so um so that's the price prediction for luna guys flip 70 dollars and high time frame i want it above 50 dollars. if you're looking to trade it those are the two key zones above 70 dollars. i'll let you guys know in the group as well when i'm looking to buy more luna hopefully i'll be able to get some leverage play as well I'm, i didn't manage to buy any leverage that was a leverage play i didn't manage to take a leverage trade so that's our price prediction for luna but just to review this is again follow them they're the obviously terra they they're the terra money uh, twitter account you know one criticism uh, on algorithmic stable coin is bank run i've touched on this and where the demand to sell the stable coin outstrips the supply this causes a compounding effect which decreases the price although widespread adoption is consistently stable assets through market volatility decentralized reserves can provide additional revenue so if you had any concerns about the usc preg it's giving you additional confidence usd forex reserve is an lfg initiative to provide further layer support for usd peg unless assets uh, using assets that are considered less correlated to the terra ecosystem like bitcoin potentially there's going to be more in the future so that's the video guys hope you guys enjoyed it if you have enjoyed this video guys smash that like button subscribe to the channel and let me know if you do enjoy this more recent more detailed research video you know previously i'd just make a video every day just price prediction but i'm really going into details on project that i like and hopefully uh, makes you money so pegaxi luna ohm and lots of other cool stuff that i'm doing so hit that like button let me know in the comment section below what is your thoughts on this are you bullish on luna do you think it's a good project comment below your thoughts on luna and if you are interested in luna staking videos hit that like button and let me know below i'll make a luna staking video for you guys and show you how you can make you know 30 40 percent risk-free you know using ust a long short farming being hedged wherever the price goes so hit that like button let me know in the comment section below and i'll see you guys soon with another great video go lunatics